Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day it is that you're tuned in watching this, my name is Art Jones, I'm the founder of The Art of Standing Out. And on this channel, we speak to individuals that stand out from the crowd because they do incredible work in the businesses that they founded. And today I have a founder, Gilbert Abraham, founder of a business called AGM that's focused on helping his customers optimize LinkedIn and all the resources on that platform to maximize the growth of their business. So stay tuned for about 20 minutes. We're gonna ask Gilbert a couple of questions. He's gonna give us some of the knowledge that he shares with his customers to make us all smarter in the process. So Gilbert, welcome to the Art of Standing Out. Thank you for having me, Art. I really appreciate this. This means a lot. Fantastic, thanks for making time. So, you know, I've been on LinkedIn for, for years and, and I'm kind of your ideal customer. I believe in the platform, but I'm committed to, to working the platform. I might spend more time on Instagram or, or YouTube. Mm. Let's talk about LinkedIn though and the power that someone with expertise on that platform, what they can do to optimize their time on the platform to maximize their return on that effort. Absolutely. Um, it, it's, it's a lot that can be done on the platform and it's growing extremely fast. You have over 675 million people uh, from all over the world in two over 200 plus countries that's using it. Um, what you can do to maximize your time is before jumping on, you got to create a plan for yourself, right? So you got to be very clear, you know, what do you want to get out of LinkedIn? Why are you even using it? You know, if it's business development, is it staying on top of current clients? Is it staying top of mind with potential clients? Once you figure that out and you really clarify, you know, this is my goal, this is what I want to accomplish with LinkedIn, then it becomes very simple to create the steps that you need to help you get to that goal. Meaning it could be just posting a videos once a day, or it could be engaging with posts, two, three posts a day, or it could be just focusing on connecting with 10 new people every day that are the potential clients for you, or it could be reconnecting with clients. Like I'll give you an example, one of our clients in the printing and promo product industry his old goal is he has a chance to work with a lot of larger companies. So his thing with LinkedIn is, okay, I want to reconnect with all my clients from the past 40 years uh, that I have not stayed in touch with. <laughs> right. So there's a lot of gold mine there and he's yeah. already created his list. You've already dive in and identify these people. Now we're going to figure out how do you reach out to them and stay on top of mind with them? I think that that's, that that's brilliant. I mean, it makes me think of an old uh, sales executive that I was on his team and he always would say, you know, Art, failing the plan is planning to fail. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> and I think that that's true. It kind of what you just said is that if you come to the LinkedIn platform and you have a plan, um, then you, with your expertise on the platform, can show me how to execute the plan within the yeah. confines of that platform. Absolutely. Because it is the business platform. YouTube is a great platform. Instagram is a great platform. Mm -hmm. There are people there. Facebook groups, there's people there. But yeah. LinkedIn has grown. It was born to be the business networking yeah. platform. It's, it's kind of straight around a little bit, but it's <laughs> center lane. It's yeah. all about business. And if you can show me how to be more purposeful, on that platform to meet the plan, my business plan objectives, then LinkedIn is a gold mine. Um, yep. You got it. <laughs> one of the things that, that I think is, there's, there's two things that I really wanna dive into that I know you have great uh, experience with. Sales Navigator. Yes. And advertising on LinkedIn. You know, people yes. think about Google AdWords and you know, advertising on Instagram. And I think most people don't think of advertising on LinkedIn. Can we talk about those two things, yeah, Navigator absolutely. and advertising? So that is, it's, a, it's an extremely powerful combination when you have an organization that understands how to use Sales Navigator. And for those of you who don't know that what that is, 
LinkedIn has a, a free platform and then they have a premium where you pay uh, for it. And there's two type of premium. There's one called Business Plus that's um, $59.99 a month where you can see people that view your profile for the past 90 days. You're able to reach out to people. Then there is Sales Navigator, which is the ultimate premium on LinkedIn that gives you some amazing targeting capabilities. So you can literally choose CMOs at companies in Morris County, New Jersey that are pharmaceutical uh, brands within, you know, with 200 plus to 500 plus employees. That's how targeted you can be with Sales Navigator. And that is extremely powerful because there's no one that you don't want that you can't access. So when you combine that, right, you're able to identify the specific companies you want to work with and you're able to run ads on LinkedIn, meaning that you have a, a post, an image, a picture, a message that you choose, okay, these people, I want them to see that ad. It's kind of like you, you have a billboard, right, that's out, you know, people driving around, but that's, you, you, you get a million people to see it, but it's not targeted enough. While with LinkedIn, you think about that, your own personal billboard, you put it right in front of the companies you want to do business with. And when you're able to do that, it becomes impossible for those companies not to know who you are. <laughs> well, that brings another question up. And, you know, in my practice, I'm all about brand storytelling. Yeah. And, and it, it makes me want to talk about that a little bit because I can throw an ad up on, on LinkedIn, but when they land on my profile, mm -hmm. if they really can't figure out who I am, what I do and who I do it for, right. And, and that's the problem. And it's not personalized, <laughs> then I've, I've not spent wisely. And so mm -hmm. I'm sure that you, before you do an advertisement for somebody or before you encourage them to jump on sales navigator, you start with the basics and say, let's talk about the three mistakes that people make on LinkedIn oh, yeah. with their profile. Oh yeah. And once you get the profile, that's kind of the foundation of everything you do on, on LinkedIn, I imagine. Talk yes. about the three big mistakes that people make on LinkedIn profiles. Ah, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> we could spend the next two hours on that alone. <laughs> um, but uh, I'll give you three, like, what I see that's happening now, especially with our current time now, right? Uh, one, the profile is not clear enough. There is the messaging within the profile. So if somebody could go on your profile and, you know, you're speaking in third person. So that person really, it, they can't connect with your story. Uh, that's one. Second, uh, not having a headshot, the, the smallest, simplest thing. The, the anonymous LinkedIn profile. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and you some, I understand some people want to People are afraid to show who they are, but the way you got to look at it is LinkedIn is kind of like a networking, uh, virtual networking, um, you know, room, right? With, with millions of people that you can access. Yeah. So by having the profile, it creates trust faster, right? It's, it's um, the KLT, no yeah. like and trust, right? You, you can't exactly. establish that without letting me see your face. <laughs> you know and, and and the third one i normally would say is um your about section a, a lot of people miss filling that about section the about section or the summary um on your linkedin profile is a gold mine because when someone visits your profile they're not only looking at your headshot your headline but they're reading that story and that story is a way to it, it shouldn't be about you it should be about them how they can connect with you know with you what you have to offer and the value that you can bring to them so that they may say you know i should talk to this person yeah and in in, in in my jargon it would be that about section should make the reader feel like you're telling them how to be the hero in their own yeah, story in their right. own story here's the, journey go ahead <laughs> no 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 i was saying here is journey right it's really about well, walking them to the process, um, showing them uh, case studies, uh, how, you know, people that are similar to them are having similar challenges, and then how you have the solution that can help them, and conversation with you or content from you can benefit them. 
because it's kind of like your salesperson without a salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Let's build on the notion of planning that, that you mm -hmm. talked a little bit about earlier. And I'm sure in planning, if planning were a pie, <laughs> a large chunk of that pie is going to be identifying your ideal customer. Oh, yes. And if you don't know who you're selling to, you're not producing content for anyone. You're just throwing content up against the wall and hoping something sticks. Yeah, something but when sticks. You know who you're, when you know who your ideal customer is and you know what pain that keeps them awake at 2 o'clock in the morning, then you produce mm -hmm. content that says, I've got a thing that make that pain go away. And the pain looks like this. And I know it because all of my customers have the same pain. That's who yeah. I serve. If you're one yeah. of them, talk a little yeah. bit about how on the profile and where on the profile you can let the world of LinkedIn know that this is my ideal customer and I want to serve you. Great question. I love that question, Art. So um, whenever we work with clients and we've been fortunate to have 560 plus clients in 14 countries uh, that we've been working with, it, we, we have a methodology in our accelerator program where it, it comes down to asking a, a set of questions to really understand who is your ideal customer or client is, right? And it, that plays two roles, right? One, by knowing, you know, not just the demographic, but the psychographic, right? That's the part a lot of people missed out on, meaning, you know, um, what do they like to read, right? What kind of group that they're part of? Well, what's important to them? How do they say certain things? Like part of the accelerator program, we would tell our clients, have you interviewed some of your clients to, to know why they even do business with you? <laughs> you know, and, and th those, just that alone, that, that if you're able to do that and, and yeah. you're able to capture that information, and you can literally put that on your profile because there are other people just like them that, that will understand that, you know? So yeah. the about section, your headline. That's and, another and, 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 and Jill there, that's different than just having a testimonial where somebody oh, yeah. says, you know, art's great and, you know, do business with him. That still doesn't, that says, okay, you're a great guy but it still doesn't get to what the gift that yeah. you as a practitioner have to give to that next customer what the solution is that mm -hmm. makes the pain go away um yeah talking more about ideal customer though and i i think this is another thing that um i think is important for an audience to know if you're building a website mm -hmm. and you ignore making sure that the content you produce on that website has the keywords that resonate with the ideal customer you want to reach that's a bad website. And yeah. LinkedIn is like having a web page. Right? And if yeah. you have if you have keywords that you've done the work to know the narrative of your ideal customer so well that you know what words they respond to. You know what words they're listening for, what words they're keying in searching for answers for. If that's on your LinkedIn page, they might find your website, they might find your LinkedIn. Absolutely. And if you don't Absolutely. do if you don't, if you only do your website and you don't do LinkedIn, you're missing, you're missing a huge opportunity. Talk a little bit about how you coach your clients to first to find their ideal customer and then to build a, 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 a cache of keywords that will attract them. Yeah. So we, we use a couple of different tools when we do that process. And actually, um, one tool that, that I think a lot of people don't even know exists, um, it's called alsoask.com. And uh, there's another one called Keyword SEO. And the Keyword SEO is a plugin that goes, that you, know, you could put on Google Chrome and so forth. It helps you identify tons of different keywords. The also ask allow you to literally, you put a word in, in the bar search and it will automatically search all over the internet to find content only on that specific word that people are typing, right? So that, that, that's huge. So if you're <laughs> able to combine the keywords 
plus knowing what type of content and questions that people are asking, then that's gold. Voila. Yeah, that's golden. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a golden opportunity. Because when I'm typing, I'm looking for an answer, and if you yeah. can tell what I'm typing and you put that on your page, I find you. Oh yeah. What did you ask for? You know, it, it's it's amazing, and, and that's only scratching the surface because you think about it. Um, when someone visits your profile, and I think this is a big challenge and also a lot of a mistake that a lot of people make, they don't follow up with some of the people that's visiting your profile um, on LinkedIn. And, you know, you'll see if somebody visited your profile, don't you, you got to wonder why. You, know, you got to wonder, hey, maybe I need to follow up with that person. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe I need to just reach out because that person could have potential opportunity for you. So, so you're saying people connect but they don't engage. Exactly. <laughs> and yes. if you don't engage, you can't nurture. If you can't nurture, you can't convert. Yes. I and agree so you're, you're just missing opportunity. You're leaving money on the table, or let me say it differently. You're leaving relationships on the table, mm -hmm. and you're leaving the growth, of the, the growth and nurturing of your network on the table. And the old adage, your network is your net worth, <laughs> can't apply more to, to a platform like LinkedIn, which is your network. Yeah. Part of it anyway. 100%. It, you know, the, the, to take it even a step further, right, is um, and LinkedIn gives you that access for free. But if you, if you want to take it a step further, like you mentioned earlier, talk about the advertising side, a lot of people don't know that when you run ads on LinkedIn, in the, um, in the analytics, they will show you the top 25 companies that have engaged with your ads, like the actual name of these companies. Wow. So that, that is extremely powerful. So do you have to have Sales Navigator to, to get that or just no. placing an ad with a, with so, a premium? I have a premium profile. If I run an ad and spend $500 on LinkedIn, the top 25 companies that have engaged that ad gets forwarded back to me. Yeah, let me, let, me, let, me, let me break it down even further, right? So you have a profile to run advertising on LinkedIn is paying LinkedIn to show your message to people you want LinkedIn that are on LinkedIn to see it. And then you pay per click, right? Just like you would do for Facebook and Instagram and other places, right? So you could do a targeted ads on LinkedIn. And when you take that $500, you said, okay, I'm going to invest that on an ad on LinkedIn as an example. Um, now, anybody that are in specific companies that are seeing that ad, that are engaging with that ad, like it, click it, comment on it. By the end, let's say you let the ad run for three days or a week. Um, after those three days, you can look at the analytics to see, okay, how's the ad is running, right? then you'll be able to see under the demographics of the analytics, the top 25 companies that view the ad, that click on the ad. And now your targeting is even more refined because you can go and use a LinkedIn premium like Sales Navigator and dive into each of these companies and start identifying the people. Connect, connect engage, exactly. and nurture. There we go. <laughs> That's the thing of beauty. I mean, that sounds like a five hundred dollars that's well spent. And yeah. and you know, today when we're sitting at home and we're we're really we're not sitting around a conference room table, we're sitting staring at Zoom for most of us, because that's become the most popular platform. <laughs> um, if you have another window open, maybe another screen on your tablet and you have LinkedIn open, make sure that you go into LinkedIn and just look who's in your network. I mean yeah. There's there are there are a couple of people that I've watched on LinkedIn. I don't have the temperament <laughs> to to take 365 of my days and every day introduce my LinkedIn network to somebody that's in my network. Mm. The 365 day challenge they're calling it. Oh yeah. But I've talked to one of those people that's done that. And they said, Art, you wouldn't believe I did it for 365 days. It was hard. Some days I had a cold. Some days I oh, yeah. you know, was doing it from work. Some days, some days it was Discipline. hard. But I made 700 new, incredible connections that I would have never had. That's like two incredible connections every day for 365 yeah. days that they would never have had by making the commitment yeah. to do the work. 
to produce a three minute video saying, I met Gilbert, he's amazing. He's a LinkedIn guy. He's now in my <laughs> network. You should go to his, his profile, find out about him, connect with him. That's all he did. 365, yeah. 700 premier. Absolutely. And, and they were, well, we could, that's a whole other conversation, right? <laughs> but I wanted to go back real quick and, and build on, on something you said. You, you gave a couple of uh, URLs for, yes. for tools that you can use to get keywords. Mm -hmm. I wanted to add to that. There's one that uh, based, I'm in Arizona. I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Yes. And in, in, I think it's Scottsdale. Uh, closer to Phoenix, about 90 miles west of me, mm -hmm. is a company called Spy Fu. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar. You know Spy Fu? Yes. So, and, and, and the reason that people don't define their ideal customer, because it's hard. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wants to sell that. Somebody comes to me and says, all right, I want to sell to everybody in the world. I want to sell, <laughs> sell one pencil to all the 7.5 billion people in the world. I'll <laughs> be rich. I'll be able to retire. I said, dude, that's really not a good strategy. <laughs> Everybody doesn't need a number two lead pencil. Find out who needs it. Maybe people taking the SAT need mm -hmm. a really good pencil. They need to fill those radio buttons in. The shortcut to, to defining your ideal customer sometimes is saying, I'm going to build a brand that does X. I want to be like those companies over there that do that. Spy Fu will help you because you can put the URL for those other companies. Yeah in the spy food and it will tell you what they use. Yeah. And when you find out what they use, you can use the same keywords and maybe you'll start showing up at the same time they're showing up and the customers out there looking for answers will say, oh my God, look at this new guy. Yeah. Got a new website, got a great LinkedIn profile. Let's check him out or her out. So spy food is spyfood.com is worth looking at. Um, great tool. A great tool and will tell you which one of those companies that you want to be like has the best complement of keywords that's the most successful. Who's just doing it organic? Who's paying for mm -hmm. keywords? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, look, I promised you that I would only keep you for 20 minutes and <laughs> you're, you're such a fountain of knowledge of, of LinkedIn, so focused on that platform that I, I, I don't wanna let you go, but instead of not letting you go, I can't <laughs> keep you from leaving. I want to ask, can we do this again? Because I know we only scratched the surface. Oh, yeah. And, and I'd love to come back and talk about, I worked on my profile. Um, I've begun engaging and producing content. I'm just not sure about this. I connect, but the engagement part, how does that work? And that's the social mm -hmm. selling expertise that, that you really show your folks, your clients, how to, how to do. That's how amazing. to how to come to terms with putting themselves out there. Yeah. Right. And, and engaging and nurturing the, the, the connections that they make on that LinkedIn platform. I'd love to do that on another session. Um, Sounds good. And, you know, let's and, definitely yeah. set something up in the future. And because the, the information that you have is so valuable uh, now more than ever, because everybody's at home and, I think next time we'll use a different platform and we'll go out <laughs> to Periscope and YouTube Live and Facebook groups and just put it out there because I know people think of LinkedIn one way, but they don't know what's under the covers and the power that lies there to help them grow their business. Oh, yeah. So uh, if, if you're okay with that, I'd love to come back. We'll set another Tate up. And, uh, but even if you... Even if who's listening can't make the next session, you'll find Gilbert and AGM links to his website, links yep. of course to his LinkedIn profile <laughs> um, in the show notes. Um, please go check him out because uh, he's got videos on his LinkedIn site that um, you can get a lot of information just from the giving that he does, trying to make us all smarter about the, 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 the platform the LinkedIn guy, as you'll know, <laughs> Abraham, is, is really the expert in. So listen, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Joe Bear. Thank you for your time. Appreciate this. this Absolutely. Um, thanks, everybody, for, for tuning in here today. Tune in again. This is Art Jones at The Art of Standing Out, where we talk to standout individuals who have great content to share with you to help you grow your business. So until next time, peace.
Later.